Welcome to the weekly press briefing of the Kosovo Specialist Chambers, where we aim to provide journalists with an update on the latest developments at the court and the opportunity to ask questions. In the Salih Mustafa case, the Court of Appeals panel has scheduled the pronouncement of the appeal judgment for Thursday, 14th December, 2023 at 9.30. The pronouncement of the appeal judgment will be a public hearing and can be followed through the streaming function on the KSC website in Albanian, English, or Serbian. Pre-registration will be required for persons wishing to follow the hearing from the public gallery at the court. According to the KSC law, the appeals panel may affirm, reverse, or revise the judgment of the trial panel. In the Pietrashala trial on 23rd and 24th November, the seventh witness called by the defense, Ms. Time Kadriai, testified. Her testimony was related to the relevant period when she was a doctor within the Kosovo Liberation Army. On 27 November, the eighth witness called by the defense, Mr. Andre de Villers, Horn, testified. This witness testified as a forensic expert. The ninth witness called by the defense testified on 28th and 29th November via con video conference link with protective measures. At the end of yesterday's hearing, the trial panel set 15th of January, 2024 as the target date for the closing of the defense case. The next hearing in the trial is scheduled for 9th of January, 2024 when a new witness called by the defense is expected to start their testimony. On 22nd of November, President Trenda Filova assigned a constitutional court panel to rule on the referral filed by the defense of Nassim Haradinaj. The panel invited the prosecution to respond to the referral by 22nd of January and the Haradinaj defense to reply, if they wish, within 21 days. The referral was filed as confidential and the panel ordered the defense to file a public redacted version of the referral. In the Thachi et al. case, as many media have already reported, on 17 November, the trial panel ordered temporary restrictions on the communications and visits that Hashim Thachi, Kadri Vaseli, and Recep Salimi may receive. The interim decision was taken following the prosecution request for modification of the conditions of detention. It does not affect visits and communications for the other seven detainees in the detention facilities. The decision temporarily prohibits, sorry, the decision temporarily prohibits visits to these three accused by non-privileged individuals and requires that, they re that any request for communication with the non-privileged person during this period shall be subject to prior authorization by the registrar. The panel determined the restrictions are appropriate given the risk of unlawful disclosure of confidential information from the detention facilities. The restrictions are temporary until the panel issues a final decision on the merits of the prosecution's request. In the same case, the trial panel granted on 27th of November, the specialist prosecutor's request concerning post-testimony witness contact which relates to contacts between one party and witnesses called by the other party after a witness has already testified or after their prior statements have been admitted. The next trial hearing in this case is scheduled for Monday, 4th of December at 10 o'clock in the morning. Kosovo Specialist Chambers President Ekaterina Trendafilova addressed civil society and journalists yesterday at an outreach event in Pristina. During the event, she answered questions listened to people's concerns, and explained the mandate and the work of the court. She also spoke with law students and met with NGO representatives. Outreach has been an integral component of the KSC's communications work since the court began. <laughs>